Hello everybody, in this video, I am going to give an update on my portfolio. Right now my portfolio is worth $139,572.16. In the past year, I am up $58,952.43. Year to date for the year 2024, I am up $45,000. $327.94 Today I'm up $655.20 although it's Sunday night so the market isn't actually open Anyways, um, that's what my portfolio value is right now If we round up, it rounds up to 140 k So I'm pretty much at 140 k right now Let's go over my positions For my options, I'm selling SoFi $11 covered calls these expire November 22nd. My total return, I am down $13,504. I'm selling Amazon $210 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, $111. I'm selling Delta Airlines $55 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $2,580. I'm selling Disney $105 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $4,385. I'm selling Google $170 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total return, I am down $96. I'm selling Target $145 covered calls. These expire December 20th. My total, total return, I am down $116. I have Verizon $35, $33 put credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $1,353. I have Verizon $47, $49 call credit spreads. These expire December 20th. My total return, $300. I have Disney $70 calls. These expire December 19th, 2025. My total, total return, $12,426. For my stocks, I have 300 shares of Amazon. Amazon is at $204.20. My average cost, $188.27. My total return, $4,793.55. I have 6,400 shares of SoFi. SoFi is at $13.86. My average cost was $5.70. My total, total return, $52,234.05. I have 200 shares of Google. Google's at $174. My average cost, $169.60. My total return, $910. I have 200 shares of Target. Target is at $153.11. My average cost, $149.41. My total return, $739.50. I have 400 shares of Delta Airlines. Delta Airlines is at $64.56. My average cost, $54.86. My total return, $3,882. This is a margin account. My margin total is $111,442.30. My margin use is $97,658.64. My, my options collateral was $10,000. This leaves me with $3,783.66 in buying power. So, 
I'm pretty much at 140. If we round up, um, you know, 139.6 rounded up will be 140k. Um, very happy with the performance so far this year. As you can see, 48.04% up year to date. Compare that with SPY. Year to date for SPY is 24.40. So I'm about 24% higher returns year to date than SPY. I know some people like to focus on that specific metric. Um, something to consider here is that my SoFi covered calls expire at the end of this week on the 22nd. And this is very important because I don't want these to get called away. I want to buy, buy back my covered calls, roll them out to a higher strike price further out expiration date so that I can keep my shares. Right now I'm in danger of my shares getting called away at the end of this week. So I don't want that. I want to keep my shares because I still do believe that SoFi can go up even further from here above 1385 where it's at right now i think it has room to go higher um the problem is as you can see i am down thirteen thousand five hundred four dollars on it right now so i actually don't have thirteen thousand five hundred four dollars in buying power to buy it back i only have three thousand seven hundred eighty three dollars so Somehow I have to come up with the other, you know, $10,000 and what I'm thinking is selling one of my positions, selling off one of my positions, maybe the Disney diagonal spread, right? Cause I have the Disney $70 call with the Disney 105, uh, covered call. I could get rid of that diagonal spread and then use that money, um, to roll out my SoFi. $11 covered calls, but I still, I, I like Disney as well. This is another thing that I, I, I want to potentially roll out because Disney is above 105 right now. It's at like 115 and that's going to cost money to roll out. Also, um, I'm not really that crazy about Delta airlines or target. So that's another option too, is to get rid of these, uh, or at least one of these. And then that will allow me to have more buying power to roll out uh, my SoFi. But yeah, I really do want to do what I can to just keep my SoFi shares. It's gone up a lot since I got it. So has Amazon. So has a lot of things. Um, the thing is, Amazon, my shares got called away. So that's why I had to buy them back at an average cost of $188.27. But really, if you look back to when I first got it, um, my cost basis was really below $100, like 90 something dollars per share. So from when I first bought my 300 shares at Amazon, it's gone up a lot since then as well. So a lot of things have gone up. But yeah, I, I got in at SoFi back when it was below $6 per share. So I'm very happy about that. And so far it's made me over $52,000 of gains from my shares. Unfortunately, I've lost out on a lot of money due to my covered calls, but yeah, I, I want to do what I can to keep my shares of SoFi, even if it means getting rid of one of my other positions to make uh, room for some buying power. It's what I got to do. And I only have this week to do it. We'll see what happens. I'm actually hoping that SoFi has a red day, like it drops down by a bit. However, it just keeps on going up. That's the way it's been for the past, ooh, the past month. It's up 100% in the past three months and then 37% in the past month. So it's gone up by a lot. I'm hoping it has a red day, that will be a good time for me to jump in and roll them out. Um, but I don't know. Uh, we'll see what happens. All right. 
that's pretty much it for this uh, portfolio update. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. And if you guys want to see more of this type of content, please make sure to like and subscribe. And I'll keep on making more of these kind of videos. Thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye.